It's the boy. It's Spyro. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Hi everyone. Welcome to Spyro. Welcome to No Sparks. Um. <laughs> what do you mean no memory card? I fucking oh you PlayStation. You, uh, you, I have one. I have one in there. It was reading it beforehand. PlayStation 2 from 2001. Are you serious? Actually, this is a uh, slim. I forget what year that released. Uh, fine. I was gonna. I was gonna save unless the PS2 acted up in a weird way because the disc tray is being a little funky. Well, guess we're just gonna one shot this. I don't know how long I'm going for. Completely. If I'm being completely honest, I might go for two hours, which might. I mean, that'll be close to the end of the game, but uh, hey, I don't oh, I don't know just how far I'm going to make it, because this is going to be a much slower... <laughs> um, this is going to be interesting. I've never done this before, so I wonder how it's actually going to... How it's going to play out. Plus, I don't play Classics part as much anymore, so... Okay, here we go. <laughs> no sparks. I've never done this before, so I'm going to start all the way back up here. And here we go. <laughs> I don't play Classic Spyro as much, which is very unfortunate. I need to start doing that. Thank you for releasing um, the ten dragons in the Okay, let's have a little talk for a minute. I know we're on Twitch, but if y'all also have your YouTube stuffs and your people from YouTube who are, you know, subscribers and stuff, let's have a little chat for a minute. <laughs> because I feel like this needs to be said. Um, please comment uh, after watching the videos that I do. I'm only saying this because I realize this is happening... This happens... This is a common thing with, you know, big, small YouTubers. It doesn't matter. It just happens on YouTube in general. But, um... It is very concerning when it's someone like us from the community who, um, of any community for games or movies that talk about opinions and want to do, you know, interesting topics on stuff. So when I put up, when I put out a video that's called the problem with modern crash, what I mean by that is this is something that I personally take issue with. It's not something that is. I even say it in the video, it's it's not, it doesn't like fundamentally break everything, the stuff I talk about doesn't fundamentally break everything that Crash is known for. Please. <laughs> um, yeah, no, seriously, it, and it's not clickbait. Um, a lot of people might be quick to think that uh, that stuff is clickbait. When it's like, the problem with Crash, uh-oh, what could this be about? Mark hates something? Like, no. That's not at all what I was trying to invoke with a title like that. And that's not the issue people are even having, or that's not... People aren't even having an issue with me or my video. It's just that... Whoa, I almost said that sheep. It's just the fact that... It... People are trying to be like, well, no, there is no problem with Spyro, or with Crash. And it's like... Okay, if you're saying that, clearly you didn't watch the video. Because, and the things you're trying to explain to me are things that I'm not even talking about in the video. Like, I don't know where you're pulling your stuff from. Like, I understand the points that the people in the comments are saying. But some of that stuff isn't stuff that I'm talking about in the video. So, like, wait, wait, wait. Noise. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um... So it's very clear to me that some people just put comments in and they don't even put, they don't, they don't watch the video. And my videos aren't set up to be able to comment, you know, before watching. You, you can't get a full sense of what I'm going to talk about because I intentionally try to keep it vague. Not for clickbait, but bef for intrigue. Um... That's how come I always ask for your guys' opinions in my videos after, like at the end of the video. I literally end when my end slate pops up by me saying, but what do you guys think? So, so far, let me just comment on what we're actually doing here. Uh, so far, not having too much of an issue. Um, 
without sparks. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's only artisans, so it's going to get tougher from here. Um, we will see how long it takes until I start dying. Um, if somebody in the... Whoever is going to stay for, like, the entire stream... If somebody um, in chat can actually keep count of my deaths, not that they necessarily mean anything. When I'm playing a drinking game, I'm not going to take shots every time I die or some weird shit. I just want to see how many times I can... Um... What am I missing? I want to see how many times I can... Or rather, the least amount of times that I can die. Oh yeah, I totally didn't go through here. While trying this challenge. Because every time I die, I have to go and find the nearest something to uh, get rid of sparks. So that's pretty much it for my spiel. I just wanted to get that out of the way because it's something I'm seeing crop up. And it's been cropping up quite frequently as of late. So, like, trying to squash that a little bit. Please, please don't do that is what I'm asking. And it's not anything that's like, you guys are doing something wrong necessarily. Or It's just, you're not going to get the full scale of what I'm talking about. Clearly, if you comment first, you don't really, in the grand scheme of this little interaction, care what I have to say. Because you're trying to beat me to the punch when my video was already calculated and thought out. You know what I mean? So, like, probably don't comment before watching. Because, <laughs> again, the videos aren't structured that way. They're so, you're supposed to watch first. The, the, okay, this is the way it's supposed to go. Like, in my head. This is the game I'm trying to play with how I make my videos, when, it, when they're discussion videos. Especially with topics such as there being a problem, you know, quote-unquote or something. See, I didn't know what to put quotes around in the title. I know I put them around modern. I should have put it around problem. But that would insinuate that I'm saying, oh, well, it's a problem, but not like a real problem. And I know that's what it is, and that's kind of what I'm saying. But I don't want people to think, oh, well, we can dismiss it as being an actual problem. He put quotes around it, so he probably doesn't mean it. It's like, no, I, I do mean it. I do think that Crash games should go back to, uh, in fact, video games in fucking general nowadays should go back to, you know, showing you how to play instead of telling you. But, like... I don't know. It's a whole it's a whole thing right now. It's something again very like weird I don't know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it's hard to like I'm not mad at anybody in specifically or in particular, it's just the fact that people are doing this. And it's like, yeah oh oh, sorry, yeah, the the I didn't finish my thought. The um the way I feel my videos should be... The game I'm trying to play here with how I make my videos and how I title them and whatnot. They're supposed to intrigue you, have you click on it to watch, to hear what I'm saying and to see the visuals that go with what I'm talking about. And then at the end, I always say, but what do you guys think? And that's your time to then leave your thoughts and your comments. So I know, and I can already tell just by your, your wording, when you... Um, comment something that sounds very kind of general in the sense of like I don't even know I don't even know what that means like I don't know okay when it just sounds like you're trying to like re like have like re rebut rebuttal like you think you have a rebuttal ready for me right off right out the gate just by my title and thumbnail alone when you haven't I mean I, I can tell when that's what it is. And I saw some of that in my uh, on my video today. And it's not anything that's, you know... I made it sound like it's this giant issue. And so it's just... Uh, maybe don't... Oh, how am I going to get this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, maybe just don't do that, please. I'm just... That's my favor. My my little piece of word of advice to, to y'all. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we got Jordan and Frederick in the chat. Along with Aaron. Hello. Hello, dudes. Honestly, YouTube should implement a rule where you literally have to watch up to a certain point to comment. Seriously! Because I was thinking about that in my head. I'm like, wait. Spyro. Oh, I love Gildas. Gildas is me. <laughs> he's blue. He's happy. He's generally happy, anyway. And uh, he likes to give tips and hints on stuff. But see, 
Spyro, you don't have to listen to them. Me, just for time's sake, I'm skipping them. But, you know, I listened to these guys as a kid, so I don't need their hints and tips now. And they're completely optional. That's the cool part about Spyro's uh, hints and tips. Are they necessary all the time? Eh, who's to say? Because Spyro is a little more technical than Crash. Just in the yeah, old school Spyro is a little more technical than old school Crash. Just in the sense that they're teaching you about like physics, a simple video game physics, like the tip of the jump, or this and that. And so maybe you do need to know some of those things. But you know, again, hearing them out is optional. So if you already know, then you can just skip them. But uh. No, what I was thinking of was, okay, how am I going to do... How would I be able to fucking make it to where people need to watch my videos before commenting? Obviously, turning the comments off and then back on again after like a day isn't going to help. Because then people will just not watch until the day I turn comments on and then they can just do the same shit. Or like... Um, or something to that effect, you know? And it's like... Uh, plus, that just kind of, you know, loses the interaction. Oh, I didn't get these guys. That just loses the interaction that I want to have. Like, the immediate interaction I want to have with people. Like, Abdul left, like, a fucking thesis statement, which is good. I, I like uh, responding to comments like that. So, um... It just shows that they are paying attention. Obviously, Abdul fucking watched the video... He was really intrigued with what I had to say because I said the problem was with Crash on uh, Twitter. So he was really trying to guess kind of what I was going for. And I'm like, eh, I'm not going for that. That's a good thing that you're talking about. But that's not exactly what I'm going about, what I'm talking about in my video. So he watched it and then he left his thoughts. So it's not that hard. That's all you got to do. Like, at least watch a minute or two. Yeah, seriously. I didn't even think that the video was going to be, like, what, seven, almost eight minutes? Or however long it ended up being. I, uh... Thought it was going to be a lot shorter than that. <laughs> Turns out, no. Oh. And so, again, so far, so good without Sparks. I, I want to see how it's going to get by the time I get to, like, fucking Magic Crafters. Actually, I want to see how... I, oh, I have to do the fucking frog cave. Um, <laughs> I want to see how Beast Makers goes, quite honestly. Oh, it's you. Wait, is his name Albin? I just... Not that I'm noticing that for the first time. I just... <laughs> I thought in my head of that one... The, the video of the one guy, the Swedish, the Swedish kid. Or his hippie Swedish parents that named him that ridiculous name. The, it, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'll have to, like link that video in the chat that, that shit's so funny i love that video i'm gonna quote that video i'm gonna i'm gonna clip that video and quote it for like a comedic bit for one of my videos someday like if i need to like i don't know it, it, it you see you can't explain comedy comedy like that you'd have to like see what i mean but you should watch that video because it's fucking funny it's hard to uh the video title is that dude's name, and I don't know, it's a ridiculous, I can't even call it a word, it's just, I have to link it, because it's in my liked videos, it's so fucking funny. So every time I see the name Albin, I, I, I can't help but think of that video. <laughs> Because Albin on its own is already a, a unique name, but specifically that video pops up in my mind. In any case, hi guys. What? Is, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> let me see what's going on here. Uh, that got to breeze. Chose to comment on the fact you called into a remaster instead of a remake. I mean, people leave weird comments all the time. Again, about the most like just the, the little minuscule things that <laughs> ultimately don't really matter in the long scheme of it. Like. I still go with Vivi's uh, description of a remaster plus. So who really fucking cares whether it's a remake, remaster, like, just whatever. If you didn't realize, I flip-flop on what I call them sometimes, and I do that quite frequently. 
So I'm either always right or wrong, and it doesn't really matter to me, because I know what I'm trying to say, and I know what I'm talking about. I just don't always describe it the right way if you really need me to describe it the right way. I'm just going to say right now, sorry. <laughs> if I call a remaster a remake, or vice versa. Not even Vivian, you would have called it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! Okay, uh... Ch shit. I can't kill myself here. Okay, <sighs> hold on. I'm not trying to get these, I, I can't avoid them. Because of sparks. Uh, what can I go- oh, the liquid over here. Is somebody give me a tally for that too? Give me a tally every time I accidentally get sparks back. I am curious about that actually. So that, that was one. I haven't died yet, but I accidentally uh, revived sparks. So we'll call them um, revivals and deaths. So let me know every time I accidentally revive sparks. So, so far that's what Ooh, almost did it again. Just charging into an enemy. If I remember right, if you charge into an enemy and then get a particular distance away from them, you actually won't automatically get sparks back. You'll um, see a butterfly, but if you go towards the butterfly and get near it, then you quote-unquote collect it and it becomes sparks. And you revive sparks that way. I don't know if this game does it or if 2 and 3 do it. If 2 was the first one to introduce that. But that is a thing. I don't know if it's in this game, if they thought about that ahead of time. Or if it doesn't matter and just if you flame or charge an enemy, you will, or a uh, fodder, you will automatically, no matter what, uh, revive sparks and he'll just come to you. Big enemy. I want to see that video. Here, I'll, you know what, hold on. Uh, let me clip these gems. These should be the last of them. Yep. Let me, uh, let me link that. Let me try and find it real quick. It's a really funny video. Actually, I, I think if I, if you just type in Albin. Um, Albin name? Does he pop up? Yes, he does. Okay. Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna post it in the chat. There you go. Okay. Hey, Albin. Albin, yeah. That was that dragon's name, right? The one that's across from the, the steel chest? Or the lock chest? On that platform with the Norks? I think, that, I think his name was Albin. It's, it's just, the story and just the style of it is really funny. <laughs> Dragon the Spyro. I didn't read your very first comment. <laughs> I always watch before commenting, not that I left anything on the latest video. No, that's fine. I'm not talking, yeah, I'm not talking about anyone specifically. I saw specific comments from specific people, but I'm not trying to call those people, those guys out. Because they're online friends, so it's whatever. I'm just saying, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Because I would rather, I'd prefer that we actually get discussions going and not just, oh, well, there's no problem with, Spar with Crash. I keep saying Sparrow because I'm playing Sparrow. I, I see no problem with Crash. It's fine. It's like, no, watch the video. Listen to what I have to say, please. Watch this be a cakewalk. Watch me actually get through this stream with, like, just like the one, maybe like, I'll say four or five sparks revivals, like accident, accidental, accidental revivals. Watch, but like minimal deaths. That'd be amazing. It'd be even more amazing is if we actually engine twenty percented the game today in one stream with like no deaths. Uh oh, uh oh, Devlin, 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 Devlin. De 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 Devlin, Devlin, Devlin. Whew, he did not want to come out. <laughs> My God. That was uh, uh, okay. He. Uh, see, my PS2 is acting up. It's the PS2. It's not the game. It's not the disc. That's that's the console. Because my disc tray is fucked. Okay, I'm gonna do this. 
Usually I just charge into all this crap. Chickens included. Okay. Oh, fuck, that scared me. <laughs> Zando Toaster, what up? Thanks for following. Here, let me take one thing off so I can actually hear myself and not be freaked out by my own goddamn alerts. <laughs> um, every time a new follower uh, hap occurs, or a subscriber, I have to uh, whore myself out. So, hi. Welcome to the stream. Um, we have incentives for followers and subscribers. I am not set up just yet. Um, like a typical higher, bigger Twitch streamer person. So I have very minimal shit at the moment. Like you can't donate. There are no like tips or, or anything of that sort yet. Uh, that stuff will come in due time and I'll let everyone know like on Twitter and stuff when that's going to happen. So for right now, all you can do is follow, but every follow is appreciated, of course. So um, with that in mind, I want to, you know, make little milestones every time we get to a, a big number. So like right now, I'm less than 50. Uh, I've got less than 50 followers. So at 50, we will uh, do a full playthrough because we did only one part um, in the past. Like, like one, um, like... Uh, what would you call it? Uh, one off, I guess. Uh, stream on Legend of Spider A New Beginning. But I do want to play the full game on stream. But I decided if you guys want to see that too, we can make that an incentive for 50 Twitch followers. Also, uh, 4,000 subs on YouTube will land us a Q&A video, an extended, really nice Q&A video. Thank you for really. And. 5,000 subs will uh, make me torture myself by, I did not get the egg, by um, playing a Sonic game of your choosing via poll, via Twitter poll, for five hours, a five hour Sonic stream. Uh, he's still down here. Oh, damn it. Okay. It's actually harder to get in this version. This thief. Uh, thanks, Ando. Hope I'm saying that right. Hope you have fun with the challenge. Thank you. Yeah, so far, it's not bad, like I was saying, but, uh, you know, these are just the first levels. So we'll see, uh, whoops. We'll see how, um, how it gets later. Hey, Aaron, I'm gonna piss you off. Are you ready? The controller I'm using to play with right now is the one without the, uh, the analog sticks. It's a traditional. Um, PlayStation controller. <laughs> I have to remember, too, not to touch any fodder. If I can get sparks back. <laughs> did, you, did you watch it, Frederick? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's pretty good. The analog list places. Yeah, they're they're good. They're classic. They're old school. I love them. I grew up on them. All right, that should be almost everything here. We gotta go and do the uh, the this, the this over here. Also, the hazards are a lot scarier now because now they're one and done. I'll fucking see if I touch anything. Oh, love. Sorry, I I read love as have. <laughs> I recently got a PlayStation USB adapter so I can use it for- Oh, nice. That's awesome. Okay, let's see if I remember how Spyro feels to- Nope. <laughs> like I said, it's been a while since I've actually- it's, it's been- Okay, I want people to know right now, especially for, for people like Zando who are new and just came in. I grew up with Spyro and Crash. They're the first games I ever played. I just haven't played PS1 Spyro in some time. So I might suck a little bit more than I normally would. It's only because whenever I play something that is a classic, a, a version of classic Spyro or Crash, I usually just go to Insane or Crash 4, sort of, or um, Reignited. Because it's just, you know, I'm always on my PS4 or 5. Mostly five nowadays, and they're just, it's right there, so I can just. And, you know, obviously, Reunited feels snappier, and Sin feels a little snappier. So I, gotta, I just gotta get back into the PS1 ness of this. 
Just like that. Oof. Man, I'm not doing that bad of a job. I just forgot how sort of stiff he feels. I, I was so used to it. Before Reignited, oh my lord, I was able to, you know, beat this game, like, hella easily. Not that it's going to be hard for me nowadays. I'm just saying, like, you know, with these games being the only version of Spyro of classic... Of, of, uh, with these PS1 games being the only versions of classic Spyro, you know, to exist, you get used to it, so it's whatever. But Reunited comes and gives you more fluid controls, and the more you play that, the more you forget how the old games felt. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen to me either. I was actually just playing uh, Crash 1, um, the OG Crash 1, which was the first game I ever played uh, for my video. For my, uh, fuck, that's two. God damn it. Um, there's something that can kill me there, so I need to come and go into the water. Alright, two accidental revivals, damn it. <laughs> Sheep got my fucking way. <laughs> okay. Um, what was I saying? I was just playing uh, OG Crash 1 and recording it for... And 2, for that matter. OG Crash 2. For uh, my video. My problem with modern Crash video. And, uh... I still got it. In terms of, you know, knowing and remembering how the physics work and everything. Especially for Crash 1. No, I, I know how that game plays. I, I can play that game no problem. Introducing the only level where rolling actually matters in Classic Spyro 1. Oh fuck, I didn't think my flame would reach him. I wasn't even aiming for him. <laughs> Glad that worked out. I sort of fucking died. Okay, here's the thing. For levels like this where there are no real hazards, it's gonna be hard- Okay, say I died right now. I get sparks back. Oh, I guess I'll just get hit by enemies. It'll take a little bit longer. It's pretty quick to... Fuck, see? <laughs> it's pretty quick to fuck. No, no, it's pretty quick to, uh... It's quick... Uh, hit me. Hit me? What? Hey, why don't you hit me, actually? That's what I want. I'm masochistic. Fucking hit me, thank you. My lord, that hitbox is weird. Like I was- What? No, you didn't hit me! I'm gonna have Spyro look at you guys. What is happening right now? What- No. Look at the camera. What is happening? What? He's glitching. Okay, I don't- Squish me! Fucking hell! Squish me again. Okay. My god. What? It's not the disc, I'm telling you! I swear, it's not the disc. Fucking hell. I was trying to say, it's quicker, as you can see there, to uh, get hurt via hazard like um, magma stuff or like liquids. You know, the magma, goopy, whatever, the goop, the water, than it is to die to enemies because you have to make sure they have to do their animation and you have to, you know, actually get hit, apparently, for it to work. Where, but, aye, that was the camera. Fuck. That's what, two deaths? I don't trust this guy. I want you to, yeah, squish me. Oh my god. See, it takes so long. I have to do their animation and whatever. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Shut up. You, you hit me once. Fucking shepherd! Okay, I'm panicking. <laughs> Alright, um, well then, Toasty proves that, uh, this is where it's gonna start, the chaos. The chaos starts here. Oh, man. A lot of clippable moments just happened right now. Oh, God damn it. Well, there's three deaths. Um, I'm gonna have this dog get me. Come on, sir. No, actually hit me. 
Thank you. Again. Please, sir. I want some more. Okay. Fuck off. Oh, fuck. D Damn it. Why did I think? <laughs> Flaming him the one time was gonna be enough to kill him. Oh my god, these guys suck. Please hurt me. With this particular one. Oh, with the other one. The one that I have, was having trouble with. See, it just it feels weird in this version. Reignited, it's not that bad. But they're really fast here. So I can avoid all these fools. This guy I have to get. It's a matter of timing. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump with this one. Yeah, that's good. I'll just probably just do that from now on, actually. With these guys. Let me just focus real quick. I, I just, I don't want to... The amount of deaths I just had right there alone is already fucking frightening. No. Piece of shit, Shepard. Doesn't, doesn't know how to hit me and when and how his hitbox works. The sheep Nancy guy has Hawkins hidden eyes one of his most inside his hat. In charge of the artisan world. Uh, he does? That's interesting. I think I smell barbecue. Hey, shout out to Toasty's theme. I love it. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck. I have to do this whole fucking thing over again if I die. The bosses are gonna suck. I, I didn't even really start to think about it. I'm trying to- I've gotta be real careful. See, if I were playing with Sparks, I, I, This just goes to show you how detrimental Sparks is as not just, you know, a character, but a mechanic. They, they married the two concepts very well in this- in, in the series, really. But with this game in particular, and Somniac coming up with Sparks, to have both a functional reason for being there and an in-game, like an in-universe reason, you know, he's your buddy, like, it just, it's fucking, it's amazing, it's good, it's so good. So when you don't have him, you're constantly in fucking panic mode. <laughs> Hello, Marco the Balloonist, please take me to the fucking place. Yes, yes. This character got the best redesign in all of gaming. What, Toasty? <laughs> toasty with his pumpkin. The, the, the pumpkin Toasty is so fucking good. I love... I love it in Reunited. I love his design there. Toasty the sheep. Um, oh, my phone's buzzing. Wait, who's trying to fucking... I don't know this number, sorry. Um... Toasty the sheep uh, looks okay, you know. I'm not too. He has a Welcome weird face, Titan. Spyro. He has a weird face, so it's whatever. But no, that fucking pumpkin Toasty is awesome in Reunited. But he was really awesome in this version. He was really like, uh, he was like foreboding. He looked kind of scary. When I was a, a wee lad, I was like, wow, that guy's big. <laughs> Make no sound as you kill him in the distance. <laughs> Every time. It's so good. No fucking sound, just... <laughs> that shit made me and my brother laugh, like, just hard. Every time. It's just so... That kind of humor. I don't know, I don't know what, uh, what it is about it. It's so funny. When something... Uh, recently I forgot about it. That, that happened in the Lego movie. Just for... As the most fresh recent example I can think of off the top of my head when uh I forget his name like good cop bad cop when he's like destroying shit outside they're outside or something and Emmett and Wildstyle get away and he's throwing shit and they give him a chair even though they're outside to kick around and do whatever then he takes the chair and, and another cop next to, next to him gets so scared of him that he runs away and he's running away from the camera but then bad cop like takes the chair swings it and throws it and it goes off frame 
And you just watch the dude run, and you see it go, and it hits him from like way far away. It's just, that kind of humor is so funny. But here in Spyro, it's particularly hilarious because there's no sound. So you just see the dude get hit without any sound to accompany it. It's the funniest thing. Okay, Spyro. Oh, boy. His, his turning was really funky in these old games. Well, that's just me being old. Could be that. It's probably the latter. Um, that's a death. <laughs> Spaceship. Spaceship! <laughs> Hurts. Oh, actually, wait. There's goop. Goop is afoot. Give me goop. See? Faster. Don't hit the fodder. Where was I? Over here. Oh, yeah. I was trying to get the fucking... Just... I have to get both of them. Damn it. Do I have to get the platform again? No, I don't. Okay. Didn't know if I had to or not. I, I hit X, but I didn't jump. Hoop. Boop. Boop. I have to. I have to collect the gems so carefully now. This is, uh, this is gonna be hell. Come you, don't wound me. No! I guess that counts as a revival. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. What just happened to the chat? What the H? Yeah, what the heck happened? Frederick, what did you do? <laughs> Frederick, what happened? What did you click on, Frederick? <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, some of you guys who just commented earlier after I saw... Actually, no. <coughs> Never mind. I was going to say, whatever you guys said before, you might have to say again if I didn't read it because I didn't get to see it. But no, I think I'm cut up on chat. Nah, I think I'm good. You're fine, Frederick. <laughs> I just want to know what happened. I was like, I'm not getting hacked, am I? It's not aliens, is it? I forgot that's what he sounded like. Aaron's, this is why I wish you were in the voice chat because we're gonna go and get fucking uh, Marco. Marco the dragon, not the balloonist. And you need to do his voice, you need to do the impression because it's funny. Okay. This is a common uh, icebreaker question for Spyro to get a conversation. Ooh, a conversation going. What is y'all's favorite Spyro One homeworld? I'm sure we've asked this question many times in previous streams, but uh, give me a refresher. For me, it's probably Magic Crafters or Artisans. Artisans for just pure nostalgia. But I really do like the aesthetic of, uh, of Magic Crafters. Well done, this one. Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know what? you'll fulfill your destiny. Wait, what? 
Oh, this one. Peacekeepers. No shit. Sorry. I was like, what? <laughs> don't, don't reply to me. Don't, don't make a snappy, snarky comment on me being confused. I can already see your little tiny fingers on the keyboard getting ready. To, to comment before my before you watch my video. <laughs> Don't die, Sparrow! I love you. Okay. This is this is gonna be a very stressful stream. <laughs> Probably magic crafter. It's mostly because I love super supercharge. <laughs> Excellent. In this house, we appreciate supercharge. Except when it's not fun. <laughs> Which, uh... Yes, that can that can be a thing. It, it, it can be not fun sometimes. Can you imagine how supercharge would have worked in uh, Enter the Dragonfly? They only did a little bit of it. Mainly just in the, um... Speedways, because... You know, Spyro 2 and 3 headed in the speedways. When you're like on the ground, you can uh, supercharge around. Don't kill me. <laughs> Best hub is Magic Crafters. Thank you for re Thank you for me, Now it's time to face the nasty gnord. What if we lived in the alternate universe where Nasty Nork was everyone's favorite Spyro villain and not Ripto? And they kept bringing Nasty Nork back. Because <laughs> realistically, what, he was referenced in End of the Dragonfly I, like, I know he was supposed to be in it, but I'm talking, like, in the final product, he's only referenced, and he's in Hero's Tale, and that's, and we're not counting Reignited because, oh, fuck, we're not counting Reignited because of, uh, you know, it's a, re it's a remake, so. That was a death. That's what, four deaths now, I think? Um... Yeah, so he was really just in one of the- he was in two games. Spyro 1 and, uh, Hero's Tale. And reference in another game. But Ripto was in, like, what? Fucking... Spyro 2, and the Dragonfly. Um, this won't give me sparks, will it? Okay. I know it's alive, but I didn't know if it, like, gave me full health or some shit. Um, okay, Spyro Orange, Crash Purple. We'll just count them as one thing. Uh, what else is he in? Maybe that's it. I can't remember what else he was in. Was he the villain in any of the other GBA games? Because I can't remember. I don't think so. But I... I don't know. I, I don't remember. Is Nasty also referenced in one of the epilogues? Yes, in 3. You are. They say that Ripto and Nasty came back to discuss the Spyro problem. I'm gonna make a video called the, the Spyro problem and y'all better not fucking comment before watching it. <laughs> Boop. Hello. Incredible glide. Spyro one's my favorite game ever. I thought I'd be stuck here so forever good, with dude. those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough. What a pinch of salt. What a pinch of fucking salt. Every time somebody comments to me, not like in a video or whatever, but if uh, people don't agree with my opinions and they get all mad about them. Regarding Spyro, then I'll just uh, <coughs> clip that bit. That's what I'm saying. Pinch of salt. <laughs> um, 
drink some water. Good old Spyro the problem. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've actually gotten all the skill points and what to that. I'm missing, I think, what, two skill points in Spyro 3? I'm missing one in Spyro 2 and one in Spyro 3, and I think they're both uh, Speedway related. So you have to beat the race in a certain amount of time, or beat, no, no, beat the, um, the what you call it in a certain amount of time. The, the, the main mode, the normal mode. I don't know what it's called right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Big fan. Big fucking fan. How dare you have opinions on the fictional dragon? <laughs> Actual menace to society. <laughs> you are no good if you talk ill about Spyro or Crash. <clears throat> you have sinister intentions if you do. <laughs> get the gem thank you so is that actually three or four deaths i can't remember i think it's four how many sparks revivals i think aaron said two three two three see right there i was expecting sparks to pick everything up for me oh man It's hilarious how much we depend on Sparks for this game. For, like, Spyro in general. You know, classic Spyro, that is. Obviously not shit like, uh, that crazy. <clears throat> so jumping kind of helps with the turning. That's how come you're seeing me jump a lot like that. To, like, reorient myself. It's because it's, like, easier than just, uh, you have, uh, slightly better handling when you're turning and stuff in midair than you do uh, on the ground. Because so, then he'll do like that animation and stuff like that. And the turning is just kind of slow in general. So... Ooh, another follower. Thank you very much. NLG Realm! Thank you for the follow. I have seen nothing but the Klonoa... Um, the, the Klonoa alert, and I really want to see this in a star one. Actually, that's going to freak me the fuck out, so. Klonoa's already jump scaring me, so I wonder what Sinistar is going to do. Is it everything? Yes, it is. Good. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is up, guys? Six. Six deaths? Two revivals. I have six deaths already? Oh, we did we did get quite a lot in Toasty. Wow. Okay. That oof. And we're already We're already an hour in. We're an hour I know I explained shit and talked about stuff, but I was doing that while I was playing. We're an hour almost in. And I'm not even done with the second goddamn world. Oh jeez. I would have been like fucking in almost done with magic crafters already, probably. Or at least be in magic crafters at this point. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it, it impacts everything the way you play, the way you approach enemies in little platforming bits and whatnot, and gliding segments. It's crazy. <clears throat> Damn it! Oh, that's a revival. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Can I hop out of this? Is the question. Oh yeah, I can. I should be able to. Okay, that's a death. Never mind. <laughs> well, count them both. Damn it! This is gonna be one of those love. Oh wait, I have sparks with me. Fuck. Uh, come here, sir. Hurt me. Thank you. Thank you. One more time. Thank you. Okay, piss off. <laughs> um, okay, so the big mamas don't hurt you. Those guys do. The caped guys. And this goop is just insta-kill. 
So I don't have very many options. Oh, and the the vultures. Uh, but what? When? Wait, what? When did Sparks come back? Wait, what? Did I just revive him again? God damn it! I think I did that without knowing. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's gonna be it's gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard, stressful stream. <clears throat> Somebody, wait! I'm gonna stop right now. Can someone confirm that I, I I revived him? Because I got hit by I was just explaining the caped dude. Oh, I didn't get hit enough. Oh, I thought I did. I thought I did. Okay. Ah. Uh, so I guess don't count that as a revival then. I was like one more time, and then he hit me, and I said, "Okay, now screw off," and I killed him. Okay, maybe. I guess not. I'll take your word for it. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, well he's not near fodder, so I can go after. This th oh, this thief is confused. He did not know what to do. <clears throat> I'll pay for your therapy session after Misty Bug. Remember Spyro. Remember Spyro. Spy sorry. Harm metal, but charging with your horn. Remember Spyro. Charging won't fucking do shit. I mean, yes, charging will do shit. Oh god, I can't remember my own hand. <laughs> I would say that they should do something like that, but I think they did already with the old uh, the old dragons. They're like, oh, I forget. I'm gonna need all the lives I can take because this is. Uh... Oh, what happens when I game over? Well, I know. I know okay, I know what happens. Don't answer that. That was more rhetorical. I, I just get booted back to the fucking home world, and I have to like kill Sparks again. That's a full, that's just, it's just nothing, it's just a death, like, we don't, game overs aren't gonna really count towards anything, cause you have to die to get a game over, so it's just gonna be a death. So hopefully we don't get to that point. Poop. Poop. This is what I love about Spyro 1. Oh, do Spyro 1. You can go... That, that's a charge. That's a full-on charge. Hitbox is immediately active. Big Momo. Why are you called that? <laughs> My friend, how about a hint on gliding? Why don't you glide there and find out? Yeah, I, did. I appreciate Gildas over fucking Enzo. Fuck Enzo and everyone who looks like Enzo. And in this game, I kind of mean literally. <laughs> literally look like him. <laughs> Enzo's mean. At least Gildas is fr that was a shitty jump. At least Gildas is friendly about it. He sounds very jovial. Spiral, my friend. And so it was mean for no reason, <laughs> seriously. Thank God we have. Convenient whirlwind. Wasn't I just playing this song during the uh, beginning before the stream started? I believe I was. Yeah. Uh oh. No, no, fuck. Shit. Come here. Hurt. Thank you. <laughs> Please kill me. Oh, fuck. Sp sp 
Spyro, please. There you go. <clears throat> the Lone Cactus! What are you doing out there, bro? Cactus! It's a wiggly cactus. Here he comes, Marco, my my bro, my boy, my dude, my home slice, my homie, my amigo, my chum, my pal, my buddy, my dude, my neighbor. <coughs> Here he is. You've the fuck, I just saved you. You can get to almost anywhere from here. I would. I'd use that whirlwind. There. There. <laughs> I, love, I love the way he does I love him doing it, but I love the way Miharu does it. Ooh. And I'm surprised this isn't pissing anyone off yet, but uh, yes, I am playing with passive camera. That's just how I've always played, so... Sorry that the camera's not whooping around real quick as I turn and whatnot. Is that everything? Uh, very much not, actually. What the hell am I missing? Oh, shit. Careful. Get away from me. I don't want to revive Sparks anymore. <clears throat> what the hell am I? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, I got those. The uh... oh no, I didn't. I'm dumb. <sighs> I thought I got the gems from the from the this over here. I, I hit the chest and I never got the gems. This should be everything. Yes, that is everything. A, uh, ooh, nope, there's two. <clears throat> and if I have to, if I had a guess, it's probably in desert town. Or not. If I had to take a while, okay, it's either in the desert or it's in one of the pots that I didn't, the cauldrons that I didn't. Oh, it's this guy. Never mind. He was just chilling. There you go. Whoa! Thank God for gliding. That could have been very unfortunate. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Noise. Okay. Two down. Oh, it's been an hour and we're still here. Just what I've always wanted. <clears throat> Well, at least, theoretically, I shouldn't be hitting any fodder here because the bats are actually annoying uh, when you're trying to hit them. And because they're flapping around furiously around you, you can't uh, get a good hit on them. So, with me trying to not go after them, hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't. Hopefully it's easy to miss them. What fascinates you about character development in video game? Um, I don't know when it's when it's done right. That, mm, that's a weird question. I'm trying to figure out how to answer it. I'm trying to figure out how. Well, I. Mm. I don't know. Uh, 
it, writing in games is obviously different than movies, but obviously for the last decade plus, we've been trying to marry the two styles. We're trying to make games more cinematic. So you can spend more time with the cutscenes and stuff, and then, yeah, you can write characters however you want. So, uh... I don't know, if you just give enough time to each character in your story, then, uh... I know this is Spyro OG Totor, mm. but whatever, I won't skip him. I don't know, just give enough time to your characters and make them interesting, and then... Make sure that there's an evolution throughout the game. That there's a change in, in who they are. <clears throat> oh, snap. You skipped Gunner. I'm sorry, because I... I forgot. I forgot. Pisces plays too. Hey, thanks for the raid. Thank you so much. Hey guys. I am Mark. Destination Mark, that is. Uh, I mostly stream on YouTube, but I occasionally stream here. So you just happen to have caught me while I'm trying to not have sparks with me. I have never actually attempted Sparkless, Sparksless before. It's not a speedrun. Um, but I wanted to see if I can... What am I doing? I wanted to see if I can get uh, through as much of the game as possible without him. Without Sparks. So... <clears throat> Key is down there. We have incentives for following, by the way, so, um, if you follow, and we hit 50 followers, then, um, we will do a full playthrough of Legend of Sparrow A New Beginning. If you guys want to see another playthrough, um, definitely feel free to let me know. Oh my lord. Pisces, thank you for the follow. Um, I am saying it's Pisces, right? Let me just see real quick. The original Spyro, yes. Thank you so much. For the follow and the raid. Um, yeah, so for following. 50 followers will give us um, a full playthrough here. Not in one stream, but it'll be a stream series on uh, Legend of Sparrow A New Beginning. I did a one-off stream on it, but I do want to play the whole game on stream eventually. So if we hit 50 followers, then I will definitely do that. If that's the game you want to see. If you want to see another game, uh, we can end up voting on it. I never got the thing. Oh, I never... Got the key. Um, we can still vote on it if that's what you want to do. If you want, me, want to see me play something different. <clears throat> but uh, if not, then yeah, we'll do Legend of Sparrow. For subscribing on YouTube, uh, 4,000 subs will give us a Q&A video. Like a really extensive Q&A video with as many Q's and A's as possible. And 5,000 subs will give us um, a good old five-hour stream of any Sonic game of your choice. Just one Sonic game, but any one you really want to see me play. <clears throat> if I have it, that is. But I do have a good chunk of like the main 3D ones and stuff. So, I'm trying to adjust myself on my chair. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Sorry for my voice being all shot. I don't know why that happens during streams. I was literally not feeling this way until just earlier. So. Oh, Jesus. Get, get the gems, Pyro. Spyro's turning is a little funky. I just want y'all who are coming in now, too, to understand... I grew up with Spyro 1. It's one of my favorite games. Um, I just haven't... I've been playing more Reignited nowadays than PS1 Spyro. So I have, to, I have to kind of abandon everything I know about the physics and stuff of Reignited Spyro for this stream. <clears throat> oh, and Raven. Hello. Welcome. 
Thank you for releasing me. Thank you for releasing me. Still going for 300 for a deadlock stream, but to be fair, I don't stream uh, much here anymore. I want to try and stream here more often. I want to try and balance out like as many Twitch streams as I have uh, YouTube streams because uh, people are very supportive here on Twitch. Um, in fact, so far with all of the follows and the even this is the first time I've ever had a raid. So thank you guys for that. That's awesome. Um, just just keep everything coming. The more you like what you see, just keep it coming. I, I definitely appreciate it. I want to. I definitely want to stream more uh, here on Twitch. The the one of the goals, one of the unspoken goals for 2023 for me, which I didn't mention in my update video or any anywhere else really, but it's something I had in the back of my head, is is trying to uh, grow like a small little Twitch following. So if we can get that going, that'd be really really cool. <clears throat> This will definitely make up for all the fucking deaths I took, like, 20 minutes ago. Okay, the other pathway. I thought we were done. We are far from done. We have to go up here. <laughs> boop. Boop. Get away from me, fodder. What did Sparks say to Spyro during the Star Wars parody? I am your fodder. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> anyway. They should make a Spyro joke book and I should write it. The stupidest, cheesiest jokes. <clears throat> I wish, yeah, in the future, if I do anything else like this, where I have to keep score of stuff, because, like, how, um, Caddy and them have, like, Caddy has, like, a, like, a death count for his games and stuff, so I definitely want to try and do an update where, um, oh, you fucker, oh, I want to have, like, a death count for stuff like this, not for every game I stream, but, um, for stuff, for, for like, challenge streams, because I want to do more challenge streams in the future, um, if you guys want to see that, but uh, like right now, so because I'm constantly asking uh, Miharu to give me like little live updates when I could just manually do it myself as a streaming platform overall. Um, Done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought considering doing great. TikTok. I, I <sighs> at first I stayed the fuck away from TikTok because it was just why do I have Spyro? I mean Sparks. What? Why? What the hell? Okay. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of them. There's nothing here I can really kill myself with. Is there anything here real quick before I leave that I can... Actually, I can't even leave because I'm missing gems. Um, I think it's the chest? Unless I already did it. I can't remember if I did or not. I'll have to go check again. <clears throat> I need, like, a pool or something to kill myself in and I don't... Or hurt myself in and I don't think there is any in this level. Um, yeah, I have to get the chest. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll leave I'll exit level after I get all the gems and then I'll just go find the nearest pit to kill sparks in so I don't know what happened I guess I must have hit a bat during the fucking Ragnar cutscene but uh, yeah I guess that is a uh, revival that should be everything yes okay let's get the hell out of here uh, I'm considering doing a TED talk again so at first I just stayed the hell away from TED talk because it was just this I found it to be like, you know, hey, one of those teeny bopper things, but uh, actually for it being like the quote unquote replacement for like Vine and stuff, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll probably just treat it the way I do YouTube shorts. I kind of want to do the, fuck, enemies, <sighs> that's a revival. Um, I want to do YouTube shorts, but uh. I just need to set them up so that way, you know. Fucking hell. Nope, oh, shit. Don't kill me. Whoa. That was weird. I want to make sure that they look nice and stuff if I start doing shorts. They turned one of my shorter videos from a long time ago into a short. I made this really dumb... And I think I know why. It's because I... Okay. So, back... 
uh, in my 20, like, 16 or so, I used to do little Facebook videos. I think I might have missed a chest. Hopefully I didn't, but I think I did. And one of them was just me fucking around with Mario Kart being like, look at my Mercedes Benz. And, uh, okay, I didn't, good. And because it was a vertical video from my phone, uh, when I uploaded that to YouTube, Nowadays, or right when that switch happened, or that edition rather happened, where they put shorts in, they were like, "Oh, we see you've got a video here that you fuck, that you did on your phone. Uh, it's a short now." And it's like, I don't care. It's cool, I guess. I don't know why you did that, but all right. So I don't know. I quote uh, not quote. Quote unquote, why was I going to say quote unquote? Um, so, long answer short. I'm not sure. <laughs> if I'm ever going to do two of I don't even know if I'm the one you were asking. Because Miharu also answered, so I don't know if, who you were trying to ask. here being Alvar fucking altered that question. I don't even know if it was directed towards <laughs> directed to me. I went inside the the thing. Spiral portal glitch. <laughs> Sonic Free Riders. You're gonna buy me a Kinect? Because I ain't buying that shit. <laughs> I would rather. No, like I said, it has to be a game that I own already. I don't think I wanna go that far. <laughs> I have a 360, I just don't have a Kinect. You know, in hindsight, that, uh. Super short, hecka early hitbox activating charge. That is very helpful, actually. <laughs> this is the only Spyro game to have it. Where where this is considered a full charge, because your hitbox fully activates as if you're doing what I'm doing right there, charging. They, they tweaked it a little bit so that way it's not as short of a distance of like boop, boop, boop. that I'm tapping you can hear me that is considered a full charge <laughs> in this game only oh shit why did I even why did I even try to flame him I've got sparks again damn it hurt hurt Hurt? You know what? I, I shouldn't. That's kind of. Oh god damn it! That's kind of fucked. I was just thinking about it. I want to get lives back. I'm gonna have to depend on the one-up chests. I can't. Oh fuck off! I can't. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to because flaming these enemies again. Though the ones I've already killed. Certain ones will draw butterflies. And that's not good. Shoot. I saw him and I thought I jumped. Oh boy. I'm lose I'm gonna be I'm gonna be losing way more lives than I'll be gaining. That's the one thing. That's what I'm concerned about. Fucking like that! What the hell? And he didn't even hurt me. Okay. I've lost track of deaths and revivals at this point. That's what I'm saying, like, I need someone to help me. I know Mihara's been. I just don't know if she's still doing it. Do, do you know how many I've got now at this point? That was like 
two or three deaths and like one accidental revival, I think. I'm doing way worse than I thought I would be. What did I say earlier in the stream? All fucking shit talking. I was like, yeah, I can. I was a shit talking mushroom. Um, <laughs> that's for Aaron only. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay. Oof. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get like maybe two deaths at most. One accidental fucking revival. I'm not doing so well. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I, I'm not gonna be able to rely on um, trying to get bubbles from enemies I've already killed to rack up lives again, because every so often they'll produce a butterfly, which is just gonna automatically revive sparks. So that's kind of fucked. I have to rely solely on one-up chests, but they are not very common, so I have to try and not die. What are you doing? I was nowhere near there. What What was that? What were you doing? <laughs> oh, Dr. Shemp, you so cray-cray. Baseball stadium? Okay, that was not where I expected that question to go. No. I have... Let's see, what was the last baseball game we even went to? There's one not far from us. But I we haven't been we haven't been to a ball game in so long. So I wouldn't say it's a favorite, but we have a local stadium. So okay again, to actually answer the question, no, not favorite. But we have a local stadium that we used to go to once in a blue moon. Uh, we haven't been there. We haven't been to a, a baseball game in a long time, though. <laughs> yeah, I could complete all three games in like five hours. <laughs> Why you gotta bring that up? Is that everything here? That is everything here. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. I, I think we're only going to be able to... Just, wow. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get to Beast Makers. And at that point, I will stop there. Because that's my usual stopping point anyway. But... Oh, dear Lord. An hour 19, and we're here. That's sad. Hey, hey, hey! In hindsight, if I, if this were a drinking game, if this would have been a drinking game, then in hindsight, it's not like it would. I'd be like, well, actually, depending on the liquor. Oh, huh, six deaths or so, six shots. That's not that bad. Well, it depends on what it is. If I'm drinking like beer like you know nothing too crazy it wouldn't be that bad but if i were drinking like tequila or something yeah we'd have a little bit of a problem on our hands at six deaths i'd be pretty uh i'd, I'd be the what did i actually get him where is he for some okay for some reason i thought like I glitched him out and he was floating or something. Aha. It still can get him. Uh, or can still get whatever. Um, wording. <laughs> if this were the weekend, I'd probably do a drinking game. I, I would have probably turned this into a drinking game. So, uh, I guess be thankful that it's not Saturday. Oh, while I still have you here before you go to work, Aaron, um, do, or get ready for work, do you have Saturday available for voice chat? Because if so, then we're finally 
going to do um, Uncharted. I want to get back to it. <laughs> I've been saying that, but I want to do it. I have to not be so reckless. I need to remember not to be so reckless. Because normally I'd be like, uh, that's just one hit point off Sparks, whatever. But no, in a Sparksless run. Like I said. Case in point. No, hurt me. I need to die. Oh, you guys are more fucking... You guys are more accurate than the goddamn shepherd. The Chad Druids versus the fucking virgin shepherd. When you see arrows, Subathons like are str on streams. Uh, once I research what that supercharge. What once I research what that entails. What like 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 subs choice on like what I do like games and like all that stuff. If that's the case, then uh, sure at some point. Ow. Um, if that means something else though, then I'm gonna have to look it up. Again, not being a Twitch person primarily, I've got a lot to learn about how Twitch streams and events and that fun stuff works. Because I do want to do it. But I want to do it the way it's supposed to be done. So, like, I'm going to have to, like, figure out. Plus, I need the people, in, enough people in the stream to be able to do stuff like that. Not just three or four people. I want, like, at least a small little handful of dudes in here to, uh... You bastard! To party with me here. Fucking fodder. In my way. That little dude was in my way. So there's another Sparks Revival. Should be free? Okay, cool. Oh, and if, yeah, if you mean Twitch subs as well, that's not going to happen for a while, only because you can't subscribe to me on Twitch because I don't have donations and monetary financial options and stuff set up yet. Once I do... I will let everyone know, and then we'll start working that stuff out. But as of right now, that that can't happen this if it's Twitch subs. A special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, hurting my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <clears throat> you pass it on, Misty Bog. I mean, the frog cave I can do without getting hit. So we'll see if I can do it this time. If I even go that far. I don't know if we're going to even get to, like, the levels of Beast Makers. If I can just get to Beast Makers in general and keep it just under two hours or so, then that'll be good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I saw that weird thing. Nick, uh... Offerman. He swore off games or some shit because Banjo was, like, the peak for him. Now, in hindsight... That's a weird thing to say. That's like saying... Crash 1 or Sparta 1 was, like, the best video game ever fucking made and nothing can top it ever. When, like, obviously there are games that hold much higher value for just other people depending on what kind of games you like or platformer specifically you like or stuff you've already played or whatever so like even i can admit even though i really love crash one and sparta one or just crash and sparta in general obviously they're not the best games ever made was it this bitch no i got him already uh, I, I've been missing a jam. Where's said gem? Oh, wait. There it is. <laughs> cool. 
let's make this, no, let's go back around. I'll say, let's make this unnecessarily complicated and go around to get to here. <laughs> Man, gaming peaked with Pong. It's just a downward incline from, a downward incline. It's just a, <laughs> oh boy, my brain. It's just a decline from here. It's all downhill. Ooh. I want a, a general, a, an honest, a genuinely honest game review from some journalist, from some fucking unknown, to be like, dude, The Last of Us is a pretty good video game. However, it doesn't stand a candle, it doesn't hold a candle to the masterpiece that is Pong. That sounds like a Gaming in the Clinton Years type of video. <laughs> No, I jumped. Okay, okay. Whoa! After all, they did compare. They did a which is better comparison with uh, Mario 64 and Resident Evil of all games. <laughs> My mom couldn't even remember what Pong was called. Just, just call it Ball and Paddles. Which sounds oddly sexual that I intended it to. <laughs> I apologize. This is the weird shit you get when you uh, watch me for longer than you should. This should be the time where people would tune out now. And be like, okay. I'm leaving now. I'm dead. <laughs> no sparks. Oh, God, I'm trying to adjust myself in my chair. How's everyone doing? Oh, that's a... I don't know, I don't even... I have no words for what happened there. How you guys doing today? I... Nope, that glide was... Ooh! That was a poo-poo glide, but I'm glad that it, uh... Okay, hurt me. Hurt me! Do it again. Okay, piss off. Get you. Get you. Ooh. All right. I think we're back. These guys won't fucking kill me. Okay, you know what? I can't come back around. Okay, hold on. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> we. <laughs> wow, they let me glide for a long time before dying. Squish. Squish. Jesus Christ. And they just had to put a fodder up here. Oh my god. Uh, I don't trust that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Mario 64 is a horror game. Did, didn't you encounter the piano? Mario 64 is a horror game because people think it's well put together. Uh, excuse me. Did that gem fall? Or did I actually pick it up? Was that just me? Or did it look like the gem fell off the side of the... I hope that didn't happen. I don't see why it would, but... Again, I don't know what the fuck's going on with my copy right now anyway. 
It's either, my, it's either the disc or the PS2, but I, I think it's the PS2. I was gonna say it's yeah, it's like a horror game in that, like other horror games of its time, it controls like shit. <laughs> It did fall? What the fu- Oh, thank what? you. So... Do I have to die? If I'm missing... What, what even color gem was that? Oh my god. What is happening in this stream? This stream has been an enigma so far because this is the most interaction I've had with people. Like, viewers and stuff, like, we got a raid, we got, like, two follows. It's sad to say, but, I mean, it's the truth. That is actually the most interaction in some time that I've had in a stream. And then a bunch of weird glitches and weird shit have popped up and happened for, like, no reason. Okay. Well... If I'm missing fucking gems, then I'll have to actually kill myself. And make the gem respawn. Unless it did fly up into me and it counted. It was blue. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the- Oh, Xander, you're not cool in this version. I'm sorry. I mean, you're okay at best. But you don't have cool crystal wings. <laughs> Back to good old six lives. My favorite. I'd have like 30 by now if I had sparks, but whatever. Oh, jeez. God, trying to steer Spyro in this game is like trying to steer a car. I even made that joke in our Vig Games playthrough with uh, with me and Jerry. I have to specify every time. Not, not Jeremiah, Isaiah, my my friend Jerry. My, my local friend from here. We, we did a little silly edit. Actually, it was in Magic Crafters, it was in the homeworld, where uh, we were charging and skidding around while charging. And I put in, like, little wacky car skid sound effects. It was really funny. Let me get this stuff first, before getting the thief. Ooh. Alright. Come here, ye bastard. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> oh. oh, I just realized Jacques. Well, I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna get there. If I if I were to, it'd be hell. I would not be looking for to. Oh, okay, it did count. That was odd that it counted. Well, I guess. Mm, did they program that in this game though? That was a problem we talked about. That was a problem we talked about for reignited. We talked about um. <clears throat> we talked about, uh, I'm trying to just get over here without <laughs> fucking receiving a Sparks back. <laughs> um, no, what were we talking about? Oh, fuck. See, when I distract myself, I end up losing my thought. Somebody remind me <laughs> what we were talking about. <laughs> Oh shoot! Well, I was saying, I was saying for Jacques. No, that was that was earlier. That uh, if we were to get that far, yeah, Jacques would uh would be hell. Okay, I'm dead. 
Cool. Oh, if gyms hit water, they auto collect. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that reminded me. Thank you, actually. That reminded me of what I was going to talk about. Yeah. We've talked about for reignited. But none of you guys are hitting me. Really? Hit me. Hit me. It's like the Dark Knight. I want you to do it. I want you to hit me. Hit me. Okay, now don't hit me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um... Yeah, we were talking about how gems work, <laughs> like in general. Uh, we were talking about how um, in Reignited, I don't know if they actually programmed them. If they fell off like the side of like like this, like down a bottomless pit, somehow. I don't know if gems are actually programmed in Reignited to to come to you automatically, because the only time they are um, programmed to do so is in a level. Specifically like, um, or like a boss level, like, uh, Dr. Shemp. With the Kamikaze and Orcs. Like, if you let them fall, then their gem will just automatically come to you. Well... For what it's worth, we're still in the single digits for both little categories here, so it hasn't been that bad playing without sparks. But it is a hell of a lot slower and more stressful. Hopefully we can keep in the single digits by the time I get to blow hard. We're going to stop at, uh, yeah, it's already an hour 38. We're going to stop at, uh... Magic crafters, or sorry, um, abuse makers. I'm not even gonna do the the home world. We're just gonna stop like when we touch down to abuse makers. I hate those bugs. Bro, you have four. Oh, fuck it. Damn it, fourteen. I thought. Okay, you know what I was thinking you were gonna do? I thought you were gonna comment my death every time I died in the chat. So not doing that, I thought I had less deaths than I actually do. That puts into perspective thank you but also let me know my deaths every time i guess that's put a lot of pressure on you though so i guess you don't have to in hindsight that's fine do you have like a little paper or something that you're like tallying on <laughs> okay again before i get you i want to get these gems Let's not forget the, uh... Well, see, okay, no, 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 because in, uh, in Reignited, too, actually, I was just thinking about this. I just remembered this. In Reignited, um, with the Nasty Nork fight, there's that one red gem in that one little tunnel that, it's a very specific red gem that just, whenever it feels like it wants to, on any given time you replay Nasty's fight with all the gems and everything, that one red gem will just fall to the floor. Clip to the wall, and you can't retrieve it. You have to, like, die or restart the level, like, go back in or something. And, uh, that's kind of shit. <laughs> so, no, when it's, when it's unintentional and reignited, you can't get, uh, gems won't come back to you if they fall off the side or clip through. And fall out of bounds. The only time they'll do it is when they're programmed to do it. Mainly through enemies or something else. Like in Dr. Shemp. There you go. Okay, so with that said. How many Sparks Revivals do I have? Ah, oh, fuck. For it. Okay. <laughs> What's the rarest gem you could find in the dragon world? I don't know. Oui. Okay, so uh, then then just tell me um, the deaths right now. And then if like Frederick or whoever is in here right now. Uh, if you're still in here, Frederick. Um, 
if you are able to... Eight revivals? Okay. Uh, okay, so 14 deaths and, and f eight revivals. So, Frederick, if you're still in here, would you please be able to help keep score or track of, of those numbers because Miharu's going to step out soon. Again, we're not going to go for much longer. We've got Wizard Peak, um, Crystal, Crystal Flight, combining super and uh, Blowhard Rift. And then we're going to call it right there. Oh shit, the spiders are gonna suck. Okay, let's see if we can do this one take. Probably not. Oh, and the fucking fodder. Okay, shit, where are the. Okay, there's one little fodder. I have to not hit him. This is gonna suck. That's why I'm going wide like that, so I don't, uh, hit the fodder. Poop. Poop. Okay, well, I hit two out of three. That's not bad, but that first guy right here at the entrance, I'm going to have to be careful for on the way back. Uh. Ooh. This fucking guy. Shit. Ooh. Fuck me. <sighs> Almost ran into him. Don't hit. Hit him. Yes. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that was cool. Alright. Doing good. We should be fine from here on out. Whoa. Alright. Give me that kiss, girl. Whee! Nice. Almost done with this level. We're getting there. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that that was a thing that could happen. It's cool how those animations aren't tied together. Whoa! I forgot those guys are still alive. I don't know those animations. I thought those animations would be tied together. Uh, or to the point where, like, I thought one thing would overlap the other. It's actually cool that if you pop a gem out of the chest, then it's the individual gem being popped up into the air. And it's not an animation necessarily tied to the chest. So if you get rid of the chest, like I just did, and you pop the gem up, then the gem... Well, uh, that was kind of cool. I thought in doing that I would get the gem automatically, even though I accidentally bumped into it and caused the gem to fly up in the air. I actually had to go and collect the gem. It was interesting. Let's get fucking crystal flight out of the way. All right. Well, at this pace, hopefully we can. Uh, well. We have 15 minutes, almost 14, so don't think I'm going to get to Beastmakers within the literal two-hour, like, straight two-hour mark. Don't think that's going to happen. But if I can, like, get there in just a little over two hours, then it won't be that bad. That shouldn't be that bad. I'll consider that, because I wanted to stream for only about two hours today anyway, so if anything, we've actually pretty much timed it out quite well for how much slower I've been going in this stream because of what I'm trying to do here. Like, it's actually all timed, been timed together very well. Well, these guys are way fucking farther than what they are in Reunited. Than they are in Reunited. Uh, boop. Kaboop. 
kaboop. And kaboop. in like 10 minutes that'd be great <laughs> I, I would love to trust me if I didn't if I had sparks I'd be able to but I can't do that so it's not gonna happen <laughs> here real quick I'm sorry I know we're this far in but I'm lowering my gain I have this like sinking feeling that my audio is going to be popping and crackling and sounding like shit throughout the whole stream. And now that I've, in the last few ish, whatever minutes, I finally lowered it down. Now it sounds decent enough. So this is kind of a long-ish level already, and just the fact that now I'm going to have to deal with all these guys that are definitely going to fucking kill me. I'm going to have to take this one, like this beginning part anyway, I'm going to have to take pretty damn slow. These guys will eat up my sparks. Fucking all, all three of my sparks and fucking kill me. So without him at all, it's going to be bad. Yeah, we're not done yet. I'm also talking about the bit right after this. Yeah, here we go. Get him out of the way. Jump over him. Jump over him. Those attacks are fast. I'm actually surprised that I got through that. Wow. I'm surprised that I got through that and didn't get hit. That's good. See, again, I can't play fast the way I normally do. I can't just go around charging everywhere, going through shit quickly and ducking out and leaving and whatever. Any little mistake and I die, then I gotta kill Sparks and continue on. It's just time wasted. I can't even charge through this because I would probably charge all along this area here. I have to do it right here. I'll watch you back later until I hit up. Okay, that sounds good. See, that's where that little tiny uh, charge comes in handy. Oi! Yeah, it seems like Frederick probably dipped for a minute or something. Or maybe he actually left and I just didn't read his comment. <laughs> 14 deaths, huh? Has it, uh, wait, has it increased since the 14? I don't think I died too much in, uh... In, uh, I think I died once in, uh, high caves. Still 14? Okay. Jarvis! <clears throat> oh, this is also gonna suck because, again, they put fodder in random spots. Hopefully, not in the supercharge. I know there's one up here. Yeah, I want, I want this. I don't want you. Uh, see, he's on the. What? You dickhead! Asshole! Get away! Jesus Christ. This is gonna suck. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... 
do this. Assure myself I don't get that dude. I'll definitely miss these if I don't get them. Uh, poop, poop, poop. I probably didn't get any of those, so I have to go back and get them. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh no, okay, one, that's fine. Okay, this part's gonna suck. Hopefully I do not get hit. Although I probably will. Kill. Oh, you killed him for me, thank you. Man, I know they do that. I just I didn't know if I was gonna hit him before he could uh kill the druid or, or what. Texas. Thank you for releasing me. Ooh. Here we go. Time to do this part. The voice of thieves. Uh, they could. Okay, if it's not like one of the actors they just had who was who were doing the dragons or whatever, it could be a stock sound effect. So I'm actually not sure because no one was credited with the thieves, so it was probably a stock sound effect. Another area where the really, really short charge comes in handy. Just tap it. There you go. Only works in the original. You can't do that in Reignited. I wish you could. I wish they, they knew about this and... Look at that. Barely a tap and it counts as a full charge. I love it. I'll do it. Dip. This is gonna suck. Yep. <laughs> These guys in particular really suck, so hopefully I can, uh. I'm just gonna. Oh shit. Eh. Okay. That works. Cool. I'm taking it real steady here. Is that everything? Sick. I just stock for Carlos. Yeah. That's right, finger too. Just make sure. Okay, cool. Hang in there, Aaron. Only another. Two minutes for you. <laughs> We're actually making a really good time. We just have Blowhard now. Okay. 14 deaths, 8 revivals. And if I'm not mistaken, we don't have any... Yeah, in the boss levels, we don't have... Uh, That's right, though. So we don't have fodder, so uh, except for in uh, Metalhead. So and I think, I think Kujak. So I can't revive Sparks only unless I die. I can only revive them if I die. But that might be easier. That might end up happening. That has a higher chance of happening here, here specifically, only because of these. Oh. I just need to hit them before they hit me. That's 
the only rule to those guys, really. Or you can jump over the lightning, but that's very risky. Because I did it in Wizard Peak, but still. Oh, and don't let fucking boards at me either. Don't fall in hoop. Don't fall in hoop. I'll try and beat this as quickly as I can so Aaron can stay for a little bit longer. Plus, this is pretty much nearing the end of the stream anyway. I got my two hours in, which is good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we timed it pretty well, actually. That's uh, really good. We, you know you know how to prove it's stock? Well, to maybe prove it's stock. Um, for the thieves laughing, uh, pitch it down. To where it sounds normal, and then try and distinguish if it's Carlos or some other random dude. And if it's just completely unrecognizable, then it has to be a stock sound effect of some random dude doing a little na 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 <laughs> And a little laugh. A little chuckle. A little snicker. Scary. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. This should be the rest of it. Yep. Yep. Oh, and this over here. Yeah. Hey, we did it. Why do the green guys look fat? They're just, they're wide. <laughs> White Spyro. <laughs> okay, I have to survive right here. Because I need to get to be speakers. <laughs> okay. Yes, go to Beast Makers. Alright. Oh god, I think that's everything. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh, gotta stretch. Alright, let's just make sure we got everything. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, all the dragons, all of that. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, that looks good. Hey, we did it. We got all of this. 55% done halfway through the game. 5,500 treasure. So, 14 deaths. Destination stretch time. 14 deaths and 8 revivals. That's not that bad. I'm not going to finish the whole game up like this. I just wanted to do a one-off silly little stream where I try to do something a bit different. Play the game a bit differently. Plus it was an excuse to come back to um, PS1 Spyro again. So any reason to play PS1 Spyro was good enough for me. But this was fun, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this back as Avod um, on YouTube, thanks for so much for watching at the very end. Those of you who are with us live here on Twitch, thanks for um, sticking around. And again, thank you so much to Pisces and everyone for the, the follows and the... Um... Zark! Where were you, Zark? You just came in and we're ending. Zark, why does this happen? No. I need to start planning streams like later in the day so that way you guys can come in because this happens a lot it's been happening more often than uh, it used to <laughs> I'm so sorry Zark um <laughs> no but seriously to everyone who is uh, following and raiding thank you uh, yeah, Zark we got our first ever raid uh, which was really cool. So, Penguins. Here's to more raids in the future, more follows, more subs. Again, we've got our incentives. 50 followers on Twitch will mean um, a full Legend of Sparrow New Beginning playthrough. Uh, 100 uh, followers will be an incentive, but I don't have anything planned for it just yet, but that is in the back of my mind. 4,000 subs on YouTube will be a Q&A video. 
and 5,000 will be a Sonic game of your choice via poll on Twitter for five hours. Uh, I'm break the news to you while I'm late. Oh, okay, wait, what's, what's going on? What happened? Hopefully it's nothing bad. A contract gig, two months. Ooh, at WB? Really? Doing what? Wait, wait, for what? Wait, what? What are you doing there? I need to make sure that... Just so we're clear, Warner Brothers, right? Like... Holy shit. Wait, doing what? Are you allowed to say? Or like... I'm curious, doing what? Contract gig. Dude, that's fucking awesome. But also, because of all the stuff going on with Warner Brothers, with the Discovery... Shit and all that. Um, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> or was that DC and Discovery? I can't actually remember if it was. No, it's Warner Brothers and Discovery. Yeah, are you allowed to say doing what? Or like. Or you can DM me or something if you can't say it. Or even if you can't do that, then that's fine. But in, in any case, that's pretty cool, dude. Wow. <laughs> Oh, an IT audit on their one of their uh, HQ. Uh, okay. Oh, that's sick. Dang, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Nice. If if you have any more uh, Cartoon Network, CNN, TNT, name a few. Oh, that's cool. See what we have in ye old fridge. Uh, if there's any more you want to tell me about it, bro, uh, definitely go ahead and do so in the DMs. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to end the stream right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. You can also, in the description of the YouTube VOD, um, check out Miharu's stuff, her Discord. Uh, join her Discord, pledge to the Patreon. Um... You can see my brother Victor's channel where he will occasionally stream. He hasn't done it in a while, but you can see his uh, past streams and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Mark. I'll see you guys later. Uh, the next stream we're, we're going to be doing, I think, since Miharu said she was available for Saturday, um, we will definitely try then at that point to do... A new Uncharted stream. Uncharted 3, specifically. Because we never finished it. We've been trying for, like, the fucking longest time to get back to it. So, hopefully, this Saturday... if We just have one day in between. So, tomorrow is Friday. Not doing much, if anything. Gonna chill. And then Saturday, hopefully, we can do... That stream. And we'll return to Uncharted 3. Then on Tuesday... We're coming back here on Twitch so we can play some Tekken games, have a little marathon of a bunch of different games. And then Saturday, uh, February the 10th, that Saturday, we might stream. I'll be with Miharu, but that's all I'm going to say. I labeled it in my stream schedule as a special stream because we got some kind of planned-ish. Okay, the game's not planned, I'll say that much. But what we're, how we're streaming, you'll see. So, I'll see you guys later, that's all I'm going to say. I don't have a video tease at the moment. Um, but I will say, since I opened this stream with it, to check out the um, Problem with Modern Crash video. And again, just to bookend the stream, please watch and then comment. <laughs> but thank you guys for the follows, the raid, and everyone on both Twitch and YouTube for watching. I'm Marco. See you guys later. And until next time, take care.